every Saturday or Sunday after a hard week of work in India. I'd be just really exhausted, looking forward to sleeping in. At about 6 a.m. on Saturday, my phone would start ringing. And always without fail, it was the same person calling. It was Nima. Nima is one of our school health activists. She woke up with an idea and she wanted to get it in action and by noon she wanted it in place. It's a great way to start your weekend with someone reminding you of why you're there, why are you in India, you're there to, to work and support really the community and, and someone like Nima who's striving to help make their children's lives better. But if we get more money, we'll look to add more schools. My project in, in India was to work in Darjeeling, in the rural areas of Darjeeling, to implement a model for school health. Education is so, so powerful. And in order to be educated, you need to be in school. And a lot of the schools that we work in, children are missing 20, 30 days of school because they're at home with uh, waterborne illnesses, diarrhea or, or dysentery. So one of the lessons that we teach is centered around proper bathroom etiquette, proper bathroom hygiene, um, with the goal of just getting children to do simple but very, very powerful behaviors like wear your sandals into the bathroom, wash your hands after you come out. And the children love this because none of their other curriculum is centered around a relay race. Like they're not sitting rote memorizing and they get to go outside and, and hopefully you hope those ideas stick. Nima, instead of just standing there and talking the kids through it, is washing her hands with the kids, chanting. She has the other kids chanting, and she's smiling, and she's sprinting, and she's running around. She's as active as the five and six-year-olds that are participating in the race, and the kids love this. It's not something that would be common for a teacher to do. She's going to make sure that, that the kids learn what they need to learn. I'd say 90% of the time that you see Nima, she'll have a giant smile plastered across her face and be talking about some idea or something that she wants to do or something that she's excited about. Because she brings this incredible enthusiasm that the kids, it's impossible for them not to learn. I think one of the most powerful aspects of the AIF Fellowship is that it takes you out of your comfort zone no matter what you're doing in the U.S., even if it's a very hard, very challenging work, and drops you in a professional environment that is going to be 10 times more challenging, where things that you think are easy work tasks be some suddenly become like insurmountable hurdles that you have to figure out a way. And I think after, after you watch yourself adapt and succeed in what is a very, very challenging environment. From my perspective, there's nothing that would really intimidate me. There's no work environment that I don't feel like I can walk into and not succeed. Thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you today. <laughs> Lucky, fortunate, very good day. And so going forward, I think I just carry a lot of confidence that, you know, as I become an intern and face with these huge responsibilities and huge challenges that I have the confidence that, that I can meet those challenges, that I can be a, a fantastic doctor and, and a lot of that is due to my experience as an AIFL.